Yes, it's me, Brian Kipfender here again today. I see that the most honorable Ralph Busy Williams has signed a deal, his group at least, with the Barbados Workers Union Credit Union to make sure that Barbadians who want to get, you know, photovoltaic up at the homes can get it, right? So you see me, Brian Kipfender, I really want to support that move by Mr. Williams because, as the Prime Minister herself has said, it's going to take many hands to do the heavy lifting. And it is good that the private sector is stepping up and coming up with a creative way to make sure that small householders who might not be able to afford the big ticket items can go to the credit union, work out a deal, and get piece of the action with photovoltaic. Because then you know, the fellas that got the big money would be able to do it easily. But the small man might not be able to. That is where the credit union come in. Busy back a point too as well that market got to agree with. And he said that all future houses built in Barbados should have photovoltaic as part of the approval to build our house. Well, that makes sense to market when the way it's about that here, huh? It make real sense. The same way that we just put in solar hot water, we should be putting in the solar photovoltaic one time too as well. Build it into the overall cost. So a creative idea, and you know, it helping with the heavy lifting that the Prime Minister referred to. So busy, congratulations to you, Tony Moore, Barbados Workers Union, the Credit Union, Barbados Workers Union, Credit Union. Congratulations to all of y'all to make sure that everybody could get a little piece of the pipe. Because you don't want some people to be standing up at the standpipe and some people got running water in the house. You got to make sure everybody get a little piece, ain't it? Now, there's a creative way to make sure that it going to spread around the place. I'm only a market vendor, but I congratulate the Williams Group for being forthright, for being, you know, innovative, for being creative, and also for bringing it to realization. Because, you know, sometimes you get a lot of long talk about this project and that project. And somebody never see the light of day or the take 10 years. I mean, ain't got 10 years because, you know, we're trying to get someplace by 2035 to make sure that the whole country, you know, is on a particular path. And save over $400 million that we just spend every year, you know, for that fuel bill. I'm only a market vendor, but I'm gone for now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. You hear? <laughs>